Madain Saleh is the collective title of the cities in which the Nabataean kingdom once had one of its two most powerful centers of trade, culture, and education. It was also the home of the people of Thamud. Madain Saleh was the second wealthiest and most powerful city governed by the ancient Nabataeans. This ancient metropolis is buried between rocky cliffs and encircled by a mighty ring of sandy mountains. This city has been mentioned of in the Holy Quran as Al-Hijr, which is in reference to the stone carvings and mountain dwellings in which the people of Thamud resided. Today, this ancient civilization's ruins lay somewhere in the modern region of Al-Ula Governorate which is a subdivision of the city of al Madina in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In its antiquity, Madain Saleh was an important center of culture, trade and learning for the mighty Nabataean civilization. The only other city that was more important to them was Petra in modern-day Jordan. Madain Saleh dates back to as early as the first two centuries BCE when the glorious rule of the Nabataean state was at its height. However, this civilization fell into decline following Roman conquests in 106 CE. But the region continued to serve as an important location for cultural and intellectual exchange up until the 4th century CE. Today, the cities of Saleh are seldom visited by Muslim tourists as its ancient carvings and artifacts conceal a macabre and morbid history. Apart from its impressive stone monuments and striking carvings, the ancient city is also a home to a vast necropolis. There are many tombs still visible here. It is also believed to be the site for the ruins of the people of Thamud following their annihilation. According to sound Islamic sources, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, instructed his companions to hurry while passing through the ruins and not to drink any of the water from its well. Subsequently, local tourism to this region is restricted and very limited as Muslims are not encouraged to visit these sites. More notable tombs and ruins that have been preserved to this day are historic sites such as Jabal al Ahmar, which is an art crop in the southeastern part of Madain Saleh and encompasses numerous tombs, of which three contain ancient drawings dating back to between 16 CE to 61 CE. Besides its tombs and burial chambers, the city also contains the historic Diwan Court, which is comprised of three stone benches used for sacred ceremonial feasts. The court has a very large entrance leading towards an open space where a larger feast could have been hosted, but the Diwan was consecrated specifically for religious gatherings. It was a rectangular rock chamber. From the Diwan, we can trace a narrow passageway known as a Sikh it is about 40 meters wide and runs between two rock faces lined with a number of altars. A Sikh also has jagged cliffs along its rocky passage leading to Jabal al-Ithlib, which is heavily adorned by carvings in honor of the ancient Nabataean deities, with surviving ancient rock carvings still visible, depicting camels and traders. Surprisingly, the ancient monuments and constructions of the Nabataeans remain as magnificent and sturdy as they would have been thousands of years ago. One such monument is Qasr al-Bint, the Palace of the Maiden, which is the largest tomb currently standing in Madain Saleh. Its portal is visibly raised above the ground and an ancient inscription plaque can be seen on the entrance of its doorways. 
The monument contains a row of windows that provide a panoramic view of the ancient city. A more ancient and historic site is Qasr Asaniya, which is believed to have been one of the very first tombs carved in this region, serving as an archetype for Nabataean architectural style tombs. Despite being one of the most antiquated tombs in this city, it is also one of the most well-preserved, containing a great monument with a five-stepped crow staircase and inscriptions above its entrance. The bodies of its dead inhabitants were stored into various compartments inside the structure. During Ottoman rule in Medina, between 1744 and 1757, a fort was built in Madain Saleh on the orders of the Ottoman governor of Damascus, As'ad Pasha al azam who ordered for the provision of a water tank which was replenished by a large well built inside the fort. The site served as a one-day stop for Hajj pilgrims, where they could purchase goods such as dates, lemons and oranges. This became a part of a series of fortifications built by the Ottomans to protect the pilgrimage route to Mecca. Why not get access to our exclusive collection of ebooks, posters, and history archives by supporting us on Patreon today? Get your in pass for as little as $1 per month and help us make history.